And we're back with more of the Pope on film. Nice. Bye. Yes. If you're like me, and I know I am, ha 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 ha. Gee, we sure do like to have fun here at the Pope on Film podcast. But you know what's not fun? My moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis, or RA. That's why Bunny and I take prescription Zeljans. Zeljans yes. is a pill, not an injection or infusion, and is clinically proven to help adults with moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis, or RA. Side effects of Zeljans includes... Oh, you're expecting me side effect. You're oh. expecting me to jump in here with the side. I am. I, I am side effects. I represent side effects. Okay. Um, this is the totally planned and scripted part where you list off the side effects of prescription Zeljans. Okay. Well, there is there is uh, difficulty of breathing, loss of consciousness, uh, violent convulsions. Uh, Pain, nausea, and then finally, mm, death. Thank you, Vincent Price. I want, I want, I want soft convulsions. Soft Why convulsions. do they have to be violent? I want some smooth, jazz, easy listening, adult contemporary convulsions. Yes. That's what I want. Convulsions where it's just sort of like, hey. Yeah. Like that. Catalina Breeze. Yeah, that was fun. Anyway, regular opening. I, blah, I blah, just blah, totally blah. stole that from uh, Alice Cooper's Black Widow, the the Vincent Price part. Oh, yeah, I got you. Got you. Okay. I didn't quite get it right, but I needed something in a hurry. It was a quick grab. It was right there. Yeah, no, that was good. That was good. <laughs> that was good. Um, so, uh, regular opening. Yada, yada, yada. This is the part of the podcast where I get a story from history and maybe reword it a little bit by my own unique storytelling pizzazz. And that's what this is. Another educationally uneducational uh, installment of historic approximations, or as we like to call it, HAP! And, and for those of you... Oh, uh, no, dramatic music. Dun, 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 dun. It's been a while, I feel, since you've done that. Oh, and for those of you taking part in the Pope on Film Fantasy Leagues online, that's capital H, capital A, but small p. That is important. It's crucial. It's vital to the whole ebb and flow of the podcast. And we need, we need small p. I personally didn't want to do the small p. But Bunny said it's important to represent for small pea havers everywhere. Yes. That was a quote from Bunny. And so I'm trusting Bunny in this. Big H, big A, tiny P, that's how it is. And to be <coughs> clear, Representation for, is important. It is. It is. Um, well, another woke podcast from the liberal left. And then and then one thing that Republicans love saying is, well, I, I, don't, I don't trust the left or the right. And it's like, okay, that's what, that's what right-wingers say. Uh, so where were we? Oh, yes, for years, this podcast segment used to be called Steve's Historic Approximations or SHAP, as I like to call it, repeatedly. Event, uh, it repeatedly. Repeatedly, annoyingly, whether anyone wanted me to or not, but a dead name is a dead name for is dead for a reason. And so we're moving on. So today is a very special hat. It is part two. Uh, last episode, episode 251. We went president by president using our superior knowledge of presidential history. Uh, and told people some little known facts about uh, all of our United States presidents. Well, we wanted it to be all, but we only, we 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 got to number twenty one, Chester, comma uh, Arthur, 
Yeah. Anne Arthur. Um, Arthur, he does as he pleases. Becomes the twenty first president. He's our most. He was our most Sergeant Peppery looking president. Yes, he Chester, was. Uh, Arthur. So this is part two. We are going to continue on our discussion of American presidents, um, which may be hard, but I have to. If it, it, it'll, I think it'll be difficult to do twenty two to forty six in one day. But I have faith in us. Bunny, are you ready? Let's find out. Yeah. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Yes. Uh, we're starting now with number 22, Grover Cleveland. Do, do you got Grover Cleveland there? Grover Cleveland? Yeah. I, okay. I hope so. Um, okay. Um, I hope that's Grover something. Cleveland. That's all I'm saying. Okay. I have an idea for a high-concept kids parody book. I need you to hear me out on this, Bunny. I call it The Commander-in-Chief at the End of This Book, starring lovable, furry old Grover Cleveland. Yes. I think it's a great idea. I think it's a... I, 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 mm, uh... And Grover Cleveland is scared of uh, Commander-in-Chiefs. And so he's trying to get you to stop reading the book. And then here's my favorite part. In the middle of the book, to try and get you to stop reading, he filibusters the book. Uh-huh. And you just turn the page, and then in those two pages, it's nothing but words. And then you turn the page again, and it's nothing but words that you have to read because he's trying to filibuster the book. Yeah. I think, it, I think it's idea. a cute idea. The commander in chief at the end of this book, starring lovable furry old Grover Cleveland. But let's uh, take it to prototype. You know, may, prototype. maybe if I yeah. see it. You know, maybe if I see it, I can I can feel it. Hey, what percentage of American presidents do you think had a cauliflower ear, like they were a nineteen sixties seventies wrestler? Because that's definitely what Grover Cleveland has going on on the side of his face. He's got one of them cloverleaf ears. Like he's Fez. I would say like about 70% of presidents got the cauliflower ears. I would think a lot because they used to wrestle bars back there. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Okay, now let's move on to number 23. This is uh, Benjamin Harrison. Benjamin Harrison. Uh, or, or as you may also know him, Frazier's dad. All the prostitutes just call him Benny. <laughs> Benny Harrison. That was the original lyrics. Benjamin! Benjamin! <laughs> Benjamin Harrison. Originally, all of Elton John's songs were going to be about we're going to be about uh, presidents. Hold me closer, Grover Cleveland. Uh, so Benjamin Harrison, Frazier's dad from Frazier. Eddie, that was the name of the dog. Eddie the dog. That was the name of Frazier's dog. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm just happy that I remember that. But doesn't he look like him? I think he looks just like him. He looks like him a lot, yeah. Yeah, he looks like... The great thing about Benjamin Harrison is that uh, he weeble wobbles, but he won't fall down. That's always good in the president. That's, that's something you look for in the president. But so I grew now, up with Gerald Ford, so that might have something to do with it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so let's move on to number 24, Grover Cle What? There, surely, there must be some mistake. But no! Number 24, the return of lovable, furry old Grover Cleveland. So, okay, our 22nd president and our 24th president were both Grover Cleveland. He is the first 
and to date only president to have two non-consecutive terms. And now Trump thinks he's going to be the second? I'm sorry. Trump is no Grover Cleveland. No. And that kind of makes me feel happy because sometimes I'm like, oh, goodness. People still like Trump. There's still a good chance he might win. But it's like, oh, there's only one other person who, who there's only one person who was one president who has ever had two non-consecutive terms. That's my boy Grover Cleveland, the Muppet. I don't think Trump can do it. Trump, Trump can't Grover Cleveland himself. No, no. Damn, yeah. they took a lot of time getting that mustache just right, though, didn't they? Look at that fucking thing. That is a fucking work of art right there. That mustache, impressive. look at it. It's got a perfect curl on it. There is it looks nice like, separation between, like, looks, you could surf that fucking mustache. He looks like Brian Doyle Murray. <laughs> He really does. He's he's Grover Cleveland Murray. There's so many Murrays. It's ridiculous. So let's move on to number 25, William McKinley. So oh, this is uh, Billy McKinley. His grandson, Mark McKinley, was my favorite kids in the hall. Yeah. Yeah. Look at his head. Uh First off, he's got resting Sam the Eagle face. Yeah. Oh God, definitely. Yes, definitely. His 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 head is like almost perfectly cylindrical. He, like there is no is, roundness going on there at all. He has a tiki head. Yes. William McKinley, our first tiki president. And that's not a tie, and that's not a bow tie. I don't know what that is. That's a Hot Wheels play track. It 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 looks like a just like a a fun size Milky Way hot hot glue gun to a strap. It looks and like a painted kid's black. Seat belt. It looks like a seatbelt. Seat like William McKinley had his own neck seatbelt built into his suits. I don't know why. It's yes. really it was bizarre. So let's move on to number I'm, twenty-six. I'm pretty sure that head comes off. I'm not terribly sure he's not robotic. His it looks like his head is his torso. Yeah. No neck, Joe. Fascinating to me. Absolutely fascinating. Let's move on to number 26, Theodore Roosevelt. Teddy. I am so shocked that this man was such a badass because this is straight up. This is a fancy boy <coughs> president. Just going by the picture, it's like this man definitely had to be related to uh, what's his name? Uh, Walter from the Big Lebowski. He has resting John Goodman face. Yes. Yes. Very much so. He looks like he owns numerous Fabergé eggs. He he kind of looks he kind of looks like that kid from the Van Halen video Hot for Teacher. What was his name? Was, was a, his name Waldo? Uh I was about to say speaking of Van Halen Check out the wings on his collar there. He's got the Batman logo on his chest. Yeah. With that, like, I know some birds that don't have that wingspan on his jacket. Theodore Roosevelt's ready to fly away. Let's move on to number 27, William Howard Taft. Um... He was president from 1909 to 1913, where the country was in such dire financial uh, straits that they couldn't pay the lighting bill, which is why you can barely see William Howard Taft. He was like Batman. He, he was the president who lived in the shadows. Yeah. 
I want to grab that handlebar and just ride to town. Yeah, that's what I want to do. That is a handlebar. See, we 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 should go back and try. Then we could determine exactly how long the big bushy mustache was in fashion. Yeah. So far, a lot of years, I'm guessing. Okay, let's 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 really quick just think of some things that from our modern day that would kill William Howard Taft. Um, explaining to him what a meme was. Yes. One sip of Jolt Cola. We'll see if we want to kill him. If we want to, if we really want to kill him, okay, I am not showing him television. I am not showing him the internet. I am taking him straight ass to Pornhub. Yeah. Yeah. Without explaining shit. Just be like, his head, see, his head see would something? explode like in scanners. Yeah. Just. That is phenomenal. I can see that. He looks like he would. I, 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 I can't explain this, but William Howard Taft looks like he ate at a Fuddruckers. <laughs> he, he's just he's he's a regular at Fuddruckers. Not sure how, but uh, let's move on now to number twenty-eight. Woodrow Wilson. I don't like all the. At all. No. Now, it's so funny, Bunny, because Woody here, Woody Wilson, uh, he was the one who I swore was uh, an actor in Hammer Films. Uh, Yeah, yeah, I can see that. He's got a long long face. He's got a bit of a droopy going to him. So, like, I can picture, uh, you know, he just shows up at the studio. Okay, what movie are we doing this week? Oh, The Curse of the Evil of the Revenge of Dracula's Frankenstein. Okay, whatever. Uh, Hi, hi, Crushing. How are you? You doing good? How's your wife? For for me, he's just putting off the 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 mean head of the orphanage, you know. Like like he just looks like he really enjoys being cruel to orphans in particular. Is he wearing tiny little glasses? He seems he seems like the type of person who would be wearing tiny little glasses yeah. so that he can take them out. And then yell about that frat house. Yes. Sigma Nu! Oh, the boys of Party House. That's that, that's Woodrow Wilson. Yes. Uh, now let's move on to number 29. Wait, who is this? Warren G. Harding. Never heard of him. No. Warren G. Harding. There's nothing to say about Warren G. Harding. Uh, it's not like anybody knows anything about his presidency or any. So you weren't he passed or scandals or you weren't like, able to... I don't know off the top of my head who was his uh. secretary of the interior because that would be a bizarre fact for someone to keep in his brain. Yeah, his or her brain. I, I, I you weren't able to get a real picture of him. Yes, I, 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 I'm just fucking with you. That's Griswell. Because that is, that is like, I, I mean, if it looks like a Madame Tussaud wax figure. Really, what I was thinking is, uh, Crandor the Mentalist. <laughs> He's touring with Mister Kite. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The <laughs> Griswell over here. He was actually he's he's a uh, I uh um okay I'm it, I'm I'm thinking of a loved one begins with an S yeah. begins with an S sta s- s- sh- 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 yeah that's what I see there yeah Warren G Warren Warren G Harding I am, I am thinking uh, of a number between one and infinity. 
Warren G. Harding gotta regulate. Regulators! Warren Warren Harding was a G. So that's why they gave him that G in the middle. It's actually like an award. Yes. Uh, so that's 29. Let's move on to number 30, Calvin Coolidge. Um, I feel like he, I feel like I could break him. Okay. Okay. Now, I feel making like, a- I feel like I need to see him drinking water while the puppet talks. <laughs> I feel like, okay. Um, I don't think I'm winning a fight against William Howard Taft. No, okay, you you don't think you could take down the Tafter? I I don't think I could beat Teddy Roosevelt. Oh, Teddy Roosevelt will kick both of our asses. Chester oh. A. Arthur. I I I can't beat James A. Garfield, even though he eats nothing but lasagna. Um, Ulysses S. Grant. James Buchanan looks insane, but I'm just I'm just saying it. I could beat Calvin Coolidge's ass. Yeah. Yeah. Calvin Coolidge looks like, oh my God, Mal, 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 what's the name of the kid from Bob's Burgers that's always sick? And he has it. Rudy. Yes, Calvin Coolidge looks like Rudy the sick kid from Bob's Burgers. He walks around with an inhaler. That's Rudy. Oh, that's wonderful. Calvin Coolidge. Um, you, you know, know what, what else he you happened? know what else he looks like? Okay, because yeah, that he looks like the guy who he's the guy you would hire to model a X ray specs. Yeah. He looks like uh he, he was looks like first- he's staring through something right now. Probably a female's clothing. I'm just saying, with his pointy ears and his massive forehead and his sharp chin and his pointy nose, he might be an orc. Or at least half orc. Yeah. Because it, 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 the picture is black and white. His, his skin might be green. This and we're just true, not as seeing long that. As it was a light green, yeah. Yeah, he just looks like. Uh, oh yeah, my 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 mom was uh, an American, and my dad was an orc. And so, there you go. They have pictures of him in college with like a like a, a nose ring and horns. I can absolutely see that. Uh, let's move on to number thirty-one, Herbert Hoover. Number thirty-one. He definitely looks like he owns lingerie. One hundred percent. Just look at his face. If he is, if he is looking at the camera and just thinking about the frilly things he's going to wear when he gets home. Yeah. Period. Yeah. But of Period. Course, end of sentence. Also, remember to tune into his radio show Monday through Friday, eight eight p.m. He, 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 I can hear his sermon. Yeah. Just looking at this picture, I can hear his entire sermon. And I, well, and it would be anti female clothes because it's so hot. I'm going to fan myself with my church program because I do declare it is hot here while the Reverend Hoover comes out to talk about Jesus. Again. How many of our presidents are um, uh, Walter from the Big Lebowski? We have a lot of Lebowskian presidents. Yes. Yes. Because he looks like he could be a Jeffrey Lebowski, the millionaire. So now, uh, so now, are we seeing the modern tie for the first time here? Maybe. Yeah, it might be nothing but ties from here on out. Uh, so let's move on to number 32, Franklin De Roosevelt. They made a movie. Look at that picture. Look at that face. Look at that face. They actually made a movie about the life of Franklin De Roosevelt. Uh, 
It came out in 1977, and it was called The Incredible Melting Man. Yes. Look at that face. But but I do admire how, how he used to get out there and, like, wrestle bears and fight the Spanish and English war, you know, the Spanish whatever war, uh, you know, and, and like, build the canal and all that while being paralyzed, you know, like, you know, good on him. Good on him. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Franklin de Roosevelt. Yeah. Um, his, his, that skin, he he was our first turquoise president. So that's good. Uh, I like that. Let's move on to number 33, Harry S. Truman. He's got a secret, but he's not going to tell you. That's no. Harry. Harry Struman. Yeah. Yeah, Harry Struman. He looks like a narc. I, Such a no, narc. No, no, no. I, I went totally. At the, he looks like he owns the deli. Yeah. Okay. You know? He's like, yeah. you want the pastrami? The pastrami's really fresh today. The pastrami's really good. I recommend the pastrami. You might love one of the little sa- sauerkraut on the side with the pastrami. Got some, got some really nice half sour pickles for you. See, to me, he's one of those people that just wakes up at four a.m. on a Sunday, just because. And, it, and yeah, and by six o'clock, they've already like walked five miles and had breakfast at some diner. Oh, hey, Gladys. That's Harry Seth Ruben. Yes. Let's move on to number 34, Dwight Schrute Eisenhower. He was America's first turtle president. Yes. He was a turtle, and a lot of times he would do speeches, and then he would go and sun himself on a rock. And he would say, like, uh, America is a good country. That was the direct quote. Thank you, Mal, for backing me up. They just keep getting older and older, and then boom, 35, John Kennedy, code breaker. Oh, it's, we're going on? Okay. Yeah, let's move there on to number 35, John F. Kennedy. John F. Kennedy. What, me um, worry? Uh, let me tell you something about John F. Kennedy. He blows my mind. When I think of JFK. (laughs) Yes. (laughs) I, I, this man. We, we literally got a piece of his mind. Yeah. Yeah. We we watched it go flying off. (laughs) Well, it can't be said that Dallas doesn't love you, Mr. President. Uh, (laughs) He got that. He got that Prince Charming teeth. I he got he got he got that that ooh man. He can crack open walnuts. Oh come on! And with especially his, with, with this gym. picture, especially with this picture, you you just put a little more gap between those front teeth. He is Alfred fucking E. Newman. Yeah, look at him. Yeah. John F. Kennedy is our first president where if you grabbed him by the chin and lifted it up, Pez would come out. (laughs) So let's move on to number 36. Lyndon B. Johnson. This man. I don't think this man was real. This is just a rubber. Ten minute warning. Two toy. This is just a chew toy. Yes. That's not a real... He was our first testicle president. He... He he, he went pretty far for uh, pro-testicle rights. Yeah, yeah, you know... 
he's he's odd. He did some good things. He did some really horrendous things. Lyndon B. Johnson was the first time in American history where it, people finally realized. Wait, so if the president dies, this douchebag? And that's why yeah. when, uh, 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 what's his name? Uh, uh, that's why when George H.W. Bush was president, all the, the presidential shooters went, nope. <laughs> Not at all. We good. Wow, we are not going to finish the presidents, but we're so close. We're going into the 70s. Let's move on to number 37, Richard Nixon. Let's, let's try to power through. I mean, come yeah. on. Okay, Richard Nixon. Um, Richard Nixon looks like someone just airbrushed Lyndon B. Johnson. This is correct. Like, looking at, like, I'm going through a list of presidents on Wikipedia, so the pictures are right, ne- right on top of each other. Yeah. And it's fascinating to see Lyndon B. Johnson and Richard Nixon together. It's like they just made the nose bigger, s- 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 did the wrinkles a little bit. I mean, it's it's the same person. More or less. Clone! Clone! We figured it out! Some presidential history uncovered right here on the Pope on Film podcast. Richard Nixon is a clone. <laughs> and then let's move on to 38. Gerald but even Ford. even in this picture, you could tell that right down below there, Henry Kissinger is licking his butthole. Yep, absolutely. So let's move on to number 38. Gerald, Gerald Ford. He Ford. Was our- he was our first minion president. He was he was our he was our summer replacement president. You get basically. that picture. You take off his suit and put him in uh, uh, overalls, and you paint him yellow. That's a you got a freaking minion on your hands. Yeah, no, this is true. And also, like a minion, I very much feel that you could distract Gerald Ford with a banana. Yes. He was the substitute teacher president. Hey, what's up? My name's Gerald Ford. Uh, Nobody knew uh, who he was. Why did we watch a movie? You know, he came out of nowhere and suddenly he was fucking president in like a week. Yeah. So, uh, he was our summer romance. Yes. Oh. The summer night. I nailed that. Who Chevy no. Chase owes his career to. Basically. Uh, let's move on to number 35. Jimmy Carter. And really, that's it. Gerald Ford was, was, was the first Saturday Night Live president. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, Max. Oh, hey, thank you. Love it. He's in the van. Awesome. Jimmy Carter was a peanut. Yeah. Not too many people know that. You never saw Jimmy Carter fall because if he falled, his shell would crack and then the, the yummy, yummy nut inside. Yes. He was Mr. Peanut. Yeah. He was Mr. Peanut. He was, for a very brief time, here's something important that nobody knows about Jimmy Carter, but for a very brief part of the time, he was a part of the Manson family. He was Smiley Manson. Yes. There was Squeaky, there was Tex, there was Dopey, he was Smiley. Yes. Yes. Well, I do declare that I am the devil, and I believe that I am here to do some devil shit. Yeah. That's he, my Jimmy Carter as a member of the Manson family impression. After after shit oh. went down, he was going to become a game show host, accidentally became president instead. Thanks. Yeah, it's 
Okay. Dang it. I really thought this is just so much fun. Yes. It's just so much fun that we, honey, we just made it to Reagan. But we have four minutes left. We can't, we can't, Ronnie? we can't rock it through. Yeah, uh, we should stop like it there. Seven. Sure yeah. No, we can't. I can't do it. I can't you do it. You know what? You know what? I don't want to hear that kind of negative talk, buddy. All right, Ronald guys. Reagan was the first president to have their first lady get fucked by Mr. T. See? There you but go. not the last. I'm looking at you, you Barbara Bush. It's like, now we go down. You're down with Ronald. I mean, that's no problem. You're done, Ronald. You're done with Bush. You're done with George H. D. W. B. W. K. R. P. in Cincinnati Bush. Yeah. Now go to Bill Clinton. Bill Clinton, big time stepfather. What are you energy. doing? Are, are are we going on or? We're trying to. I'm forcing okay. It. I'm forcing. Uh, it. Number forty one, George H. W. Bush. Well, I don't know. I think these monkeys require more time since they're in our lifetimes. Okay. They need okay. they need stronger roasting. I mean, you can't just gloss That's past Ronald fucking Reagan. That's a good words point. must okay. be said. Yeah. So, okay. okay. So we're going to stop at Ronald Reagan, number 40. Okay. And then we can spend more time in our next episode focusing on the modern presidents. Well, let's go. How about we go back? Let's go back to Gerald Ford. How okay. about that? We'll start with okay. the Saturday Night Live president. Yeah. Okay. So let me write this down because I'll forget it. Uh, 38 to 46. That'll be fun. This will be fun. I love doing this. This is this is such a friggin' blast. Okay. So we finish off our look at uh, American presidents next week. No, oh, I'm a vampire. Next week, if you're listening <laughs> to this podcast, then you're lost. Okay. So next week, we continue our look at American presidents. Bless you. Uh, with number 38 to 46. So join us next week for more educationally uneducational fun with Ha! 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 And cut on that funny! <laughs>